day to everyone. Hello and welcome to another episode of 5 Minutes With. Today, we are featuring our toddler curriculum coordinator and the teacher of the chicks class, none other than the legendary Teacher Gail Cruz. Hello, Teacher Gail, and welcome to 5 Minutes With. Me, Teacher Gail. Yes, you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Did you notice the adjective legendary when I introduced you, Teacher Gail? That's so funny, Teacher. <laughs> well, it's true because you're really a legend or the original when it comes to making jokes. You should actually be doing the joke of the day for our daily announcements. I thought legendary means, you know, the age. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Weighted with age. <laughs> okay, anyway, we're really very happy to have you here with us. And we want to get to know you better, Teacher Gail. So, can you tell us how how long you've been teaching and what experiences led you to teach here in ISYC? Well, I've been teaching for 20 or so years. Let's not go to specifics. <laughs> I, I, I taught both locally and internationally. But most of the schools I've been to is um, preschools. I'm so happy that I... I've been staying with ISYC for seven years, I think. Seven years. Seven. This is my seventh year. I'm happy with, with the school, with the students, and I hope to do so for a couple of years more. Couple? <laughs> Sige na nga, more years. <laughs> many more years. Many, many more years. Until my retirement, next. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, right? So, you've been a teacher in the toddler, senior nursery, and kindergarten levels, right? Yes, teacher. How would you differentiate your experiences in the different levels? Uh, each level offers um, different kind of challenge, enjoyment also. For the higher levels like senior nursery and kinder, well, I can say that these children are already verbal so I can communicate with them more. They, we share um, stories. Every day, they have a wider understanding of instructions, directions that I give. So, it's a little bit easier for them. But challenging also. Well, for one, because their, their workload. And also, they have so many questions. <laughs> and uh, well, for me to give them um, replies or answers that are really something that they they need to think about also. Um, with the uh, toddlers, it's also both challenging and enjoyable at the same time. For one, challenging because when, when I ask them questions, all I get is smile or their answers will be sometimes difficult to understand. And I, But I love them. I love uh, seeing them smile back at me whenever we see we dance. It's also challenging because there are times that they would they would say something to me but I couldn't understand so I have to interpret those um, gestures and actions. Yeah, I, I understand Teacher Gail. I think teaching children at any level is really challenging so yes. it is a good teacher like you to be able to manage the different levels in the way that you've managed them in the past and also this year. Now. You've been a toddler coordinator for the past few years and I know that you've been begging us to let you go back. <laughs> now that you are back in the classroom, you're also juggling a, um, a number of roles. You're the toddler coordinator, you teach in the chicks class um, as well. So, are you happy to be teaching again this school year? Yes, <laughs> I am. But well, I saw what I said that <laughs> it's challenging, especially during this time that um, you know with this pandemic and we're going on online classes. Well, for one, I was thinking, oh, how will I, how will I keep them focused? How will I keep these toddlers, these children, paying attention to me for the whole thirty or forty minutes? And I've been happy so far with their with our progress and I, I see them also enjoying my class, doing the actions, singing songs, listening to the stories, and I'm happy with that so far. <laughs> I agree, Teacher Gail, that's the best affirmation of you being as a teacher and you being as an effective teacher, knowing that your, your students are able to smile and relate and also communicate with you in their own simple ways, right? I know. Yes, teacher. I know you understand that also. 
<laughs> Your role is very important, teacher, because you are um, laying the foundations in the educational journey of the children in ISYC. Toddler being the the youngest young level in in our school, right? So you have a very big responsibility to fulfill. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> but but um, you're doing you're doing very well at it. You should be. Ah well, thank you, thank you, teacher. Thank you. I I'm you know I'm happy even though it's quite um a challenge. That is a challenge given to me that will keep me going on. I agree. Mm -hmm. I think um with every challenge you really grow and learn as a person, right? Yes. <laughs> of course, of course, yes, yes. Can you tell us something about yourself and your hobbies? What you like doing during the weekends? Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's something that we're interested to know. Really? You're interested. <laughs> okay, uh, well, I'm a mother of uh, one daughter, one child. Um, my daughter is studying in San Beda, Rizal. I live here in Tai Tai, so a little bit far from Marikina. <laughs> Uh, my hobbies include, well, for now being a mommy, of course, cooking, doing things, um, doing house chores, being into <laughs> watching K dramas, <laughs> and also listening to BTS because uh, it's like my uh, my bonding with my child, with my daughter. Sports, um, <laughs> not too much, just ano, the regular exercising. The move classes that you have with your students, right? Ah, yes! Of course! Watch out for my YouTube channel. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs> Teacher Gail, you said that you like K-dramas, right? What's your favorite and um, why do you like that person or that K-drama? Okay, I have lots of favorite K-dramas. Um, but my ultimate, fav my ultimate actor is Kim Soyeon, the one in It's Okay Not To Be Okay. That's his recent, but I like him from My Love From The Start. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> I love some Gupsal. <laughs> some Gupsal? So is that your... Is uh, that okay. your yes, teacher? Is that your ultimate dish, some Gupsal? Ah, uh, yes, and Japji. <laughs> <laughs> So I have one more question for you, Teach. Um, so if you were given a chance to have any superpower, what would it be and why? Wow, that's quite a tough question. Well, I believe being a teacher is also is already being a hero. You know, you have all these powers already. Like being a psychic, um, you have psychic powers for the reason that you can read minds of the children. They haven't done it yet, but you can already read what they will do. You also have this super, you can also be a super woman. Uh, for what reason? With me, I can, uh, these, uh, the, the toddlers will ask me, Teacher, carry, carry. When they're crying, you need to carry them. So you have this um, super power to do that. When it's time to pack away, you have the power to tell them, Okay, it's time to pack away. Um, parents will tell you, Teacher, they don't like to pack away. But when they say, oh, teacher Gail said, you have to pack away, these children will immediately do that, right? Yeah. Move that power already. What else? Um, you can also be the flash, okay? especially when it's time, when during those times that you need to be fast, to move fast. When accidents happen, or you, you need to be fast, you need to be alert, to be able to prevent something from happening. And lastly, of course, you have that, um, power in your heart to love this children. That's so true, Teacher Gail, you know. Um, I mentioned it in our segment in the daily announcement that my personal hero are the teachers because like what you said, you know, being a teacher entails a lot of things. It really, It's really the heart of the teacher that makes the difference because as a teacher, you, you generally want the, the child to grow up learn not only you know uh, with her with his or her cognitive skills but for me more importantly and for us in ISY more of the social and the emotional skills that we're trying to develop. I agree with you. It's um well you know, holistic development. 
Correct. So thank you, Teacher Gail, for thank allowing you. us to get to know you better. It was such a fun time to to talk to you, and especially fun. pick up your brain. <laughs> Thank you all so for featuring me, teacher. It's quite unexpected. <laughs> unexpected, but <laughs> always ready. That's how you are, Teacher Gail. So thank you once again, Teacher Gail, for joining us today. Um, it's really, it was really so much fun getting to know you better. You said that you've been with us for seven years, but it's actually more than that. I remember you were with us for a year, and then you left, and then came back. So it's really a testament to your commitment to ISYC, and for that, we're truly very, very grateful. I love ISYC. <laughs> ISYC loves you back. Again, thank you very much, Teacher Gail, and this has been 5 Minutes with Teacher Gail Cruz. See you again next time. Bye! Bye!